All right, hello everybody. Uh, before we get this assignment started, I need you to go ahead and have a piece of paper ready so that you know you can draw these things that we learned. You learned how to do those um, in the in the video that I put on there for you. You'll need to to have those um, to jot down that information. So have that ready, you know, to draw your supply and demand curves. It's always good to see it. And, and actually do it. it it helps me a lot I know it'll help you so I'm going to do a couple of these with you the first example here that we're, we're going to be uh, looking at is the market will be potato chips so we're looking at potato chips as the market um, the scenario that happens is the price of potatoes the price of the potato itself drops 25 percent in the market so what is that going to do to our supply and demand. What would be the shifter there? Of course, that's the price of resource, right? So that is a supply thing, which is going to cause supply to increase. So are you going to see a shift? Bring my thing up here. Are you going to, is the supply line going to shift to the left or to the right? And you're going to see this shift to the right. Okay. So if you're drawing this on your paper, It'll look something like this, right? You'll draw another arrow there. This will be the new, um, basically the new price right here in the quantity. And your price will go down. So what I want you is, I'm going to do this with you. I'm typing this up here. Uh, shifter is price of resource change in demand or supply that was a uh, supply well in so I want you to put supply increase sorry and the price will go down just want you to put down and you can see the quantity here will go up. Not too bad confusing. Okay, so there's there's your first scenario. And again, you can rewind this video and, and do it. So I'm going to, I'll do the first couple ones with you here. And then um, I'll turn you loose and just give you the scenario. So the next market that we have is frozen waffles. Frozen waffles. That's the market. So the scenario, the price of syrup rises drastically. So the, the price of maple syrup rises drastically. So what would be um, the shifter there? Price of complement, right? Very good. So if the price of corn, if the price of maple syrup goes up, people are going to be less apt to buy uh, waffles. So what you have here is a change in demand, and you'll have a decrease in demand. Now, what I would do if I was you would listening to this is I would pause when I give you the scenario, pause the video, draw out your supply and demand curves, and uh, Try to figure out and then see if you get it right here when I give you the answers. Change in demand. So it's a decrease in demand. And will the price go up or down? So if the price of the complement goes up, the demand is going to go to the left. And the price will have to drop, right? So you're going down. And quantity will also be down. Anytime you have a demand shift to the left, your price is going to go down. Quantity is going to go down. All right. Number two scenario. Your market is surfboards. So we're looking at surfboards. There uh, and the scenario that happens is there's a population boom all across the state of California. 
So people are moving in, population boom, what's going to happen? And so what's the, go ahead and pause and, and draw your um, demand and supply and demand curve out. And let's see if you get it right. Of course, your shifter is going to be number of consumers. You know, you've got people moving in. Change in demand or supply, that is a uh, demand increase, right? Because the, there's more people moving in, so you're going to have an increase in demand. We've got more people. We talked about this yesterday. Increase in demand. So if your demand curve shifts this way, what happens to the price? And what happens to the quantity? Price is going to go up, and your quantity is going to go up. So this is a good scenario for a business person. All right, I'll let you do the rest of these uh, on your own, and if you need any help, you just you know, just email me. So I'm going to give you the scenario, and then from there you can uh, you can pause it and look at it. The third scenario, uh, third market is fuzzy socks. So those old fuzzy socks. The scenario is the price of polyester, the material used to make the fuzzy socks, falls by 25%. So the, the material used to make the socks falls by 25%. Watch the shifter. Go ahead and draw out your supply and demand curve. See if you can fill the rest of that out. Number four scenario, computer games. That's your market is the computer games. And the scenario is a sale on computer games starts next week. A sale on computer games will start next week. That's a, that's a tough one. Um, you got to figure out is that a demand or supply thing. And so if the sale starts next week, think about it. It's really not going to affect supply. Just to give you a hint. But if you're if you know that a sale's next week, are you going to go buy today? Somebody like me would. I've done that before actually. And just fill the rest of it out. Number five, the market is bicycles. And the scenario that you're looking at here, a bicycle manufacturers get a report. That a surge of interest in unicycling has caused prices of unicycles to skyrocket. So there's a brand new market happening there. The shifter, you may want to look at expectations or opportunity costs. If you were a bicycle maker and you, you got this information in your hands, uh, what would you do? Um, this is definitely uh, a supply issue. Is it going to go to the left or the right? Number six, I want you to draw there, um, and I want you to put the um, the the different prices, the equilibrium prices, just like they showed you in in the video. And your uh, the market is SUVs. Uh, sport utility vehicles. If you know what an SUV is, kind of like a a Jeep, a Grand Cherokee, or a, a Suburban, a Chevy Suburban. The scenario is that the government places a tax on vehicles that get less than 30 miles per gallon. So the government is going to place another tax on SUVs. Go ahead and draw your uh, supply and demand curves. And plot, first of all, plot your equilibrium price. And then once this new thing happens, of course, you're going to put uh, S1 there because this is a, a definitely a supply issue. If you learn that the government is going to place new taxes on suburbans or, or vehicles like that, you're probably not going to supply as many. So that's going to shift to this side. Quantity go down, price will go up. I just want to see you chart that out and chart your new price out and call it uh, P1. 
uh, and your uh, equilibrium price is P1 or PE, I'm sorry, PE, price equilibrium. Chart those out for me. If you have any questions, uh, all you need to do is email me or remind me.